ever thought how your dentist or your doctor learned dental or medical procedures? It's very similar how pilots learn piloting airplanes. Nowadays, they need to train many, many hours in flight simulations before piloting a real airplane. And why is that? That's because it involves life risks. 80% of airplane accidents are due to human error. Well, healthcare field is not very different. 58% of medical adverse events are due to human error. Just as we have to trust the pilot is going to, to fly, the airplane we are going to, to take in our trips, we have to trust our doctors in a surgery. This is my mother. A few years ago, she was di diagnosed with a tumor in one of her kidneys. The doctors told her they had to remove it. My mother was terrified about the surgery. My family were very worried about it. And I kept, I kept thinking to myself, who are those doctors? How much experience do they have? Is this the first time or maybe the second time they are doing this kind of procedure? I had no idea. If it's very difficult for us in trusting our doctors, you can imagine how much responsibility they carry on their shoulders. And you can imagine how much insecure they can be and they can feel in the first time doing a procedure in a real patient. So, how do they learn practical procedures? They do have to study a lot of theory, of course. They have to know the anatomy very well. And they have some ways to simulate procedures. They can use surgical dummies. They can use cadavers. They can use animals. And for dental anesthesia, students have to, to practice on each other's mouth. So they are very terrified about this day as well. They can also practice in haptic simulations, which are software with physical feedback. The problem is some of these methods are, are very difficult to find, or they may, may be very expensive, or may not exist simulations for some kinds of procedures. What if doctors and students could practice anytime, anywhere, and as many times as they want? We are ready in the future, right? We have a very powerful piece of technology inside our pockets. What if healthcare students could practice in a mobile simulation? What if they could train muscle memory using augmented reality with their device's camera and printing some boards at home? What if they could practice fully immersed 
in virtual reality using their own smartphones and virtual reality glasses. My mother was lucky. The doctors did a great job, and she lives very well now. However, it could have been a totally different story. Me and my team think the risks of medical errors due to human error can be dramatically decreased improving the training for doctors. We believe it can be done through more immersive, affordable, and more frequent use of simulations. By increasing the quality of training, it, it allows better access to better healthcare services for different categories of patients. This is our dream, to help and contribute to healthcare education through mobile simulation. Thank you. <laughs>